the Hadron Collider. Most of y'all know about it by now. Over in CERN, Switzerland, there was a lot of pastors and YouTubers and people blowing the trumpet, sounding the trumpet, warning everybody about the evils of the Hadron Collider. And if you don't know what that is by now, I will play a short video to get you caught up so you can understand the dangers of it. Now, saints of God, you know very well through the Hadron Collider, they want to open up a gateway. They want to open up a doorway to the abyss, a doorway to another dimension, and they want to obtain dark matter or antimatter. And I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ because technology has increased just like the book of Daniel prophesied it would. And although Satan was leading man to create the internet and to create the World Wide Web and computers and all of these things, he was doing it so that way he could spread evil into every house and increase the wickedness by this method. But I don't think he understood that saints of the Most High God would also increase in knowledge and also be able to communicate with each other and learn at a much faster pace. So just like Haman, when he tried to hang Mordecai, he ended up hanging himself instead. Because saints of God, when the Hadron Collider was first developed, there was a lot of pastors, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people sounding the alarm, warning everybody about this satanic agenda. And there was a lot of true believers that went into prayer and got into battle against this power of darkness. Now don't get it twisted. There were certain things that happened when they collided, when they did what it is they set out to do. Look at the increase of darkness on the land. What do you think is causing this? They are releasing a physical darkness. You gotta understand it's not just dark like darkness and light. It's a physical presence of darkness that they're releasing on the earth, saints. There was a movie that came out called The Mist. Of course, written by an occultist, Stephen King. But in this movie, there was this mist that came upon this entire small city, a town. And these demonic creatures were roaming around killing everybody. And they overheard three military men in the supermarket saying how the government had a weapon and they accidentally tore a hole in the time and space continuum and they opened up a dimensional portal. One thing you gotta know about the devil, he uses Hollywood a lot to tell you what he is about to do. That's his way of mocking because he looks at the human race as stupid, dumbed down animals. Why do you think they call people Goyim? Now listen to this carefully. What they're doing is they're opening up doorways and portals. It's not a game, saints. I'm telling you, if you laugh this off, then you just are not that spiritual of a person to begin with. And right now you're ignorant. And I pray that God will show you how serious this is. So watch this video real quick to give you a brief understanding of what the Hadra Collider does. We'll be right back. It could change physics forever. The revamped Large Hadron Collider LHC is due to be restarted after a two-year hiatus. Described in some reports as a monstrous underground atom smasher, the LHC is the world's most powerful particle collider, and it's already revolutionized physics with the discovery of the Higgs boson. Higgs boson's ability to give mass to most elementary particles has earned it the nickname the God Particle. The LHC is expected to run faster than ever and is predicted to reach its highest collision energy by June. It's on course to smash all records and solve some of the biggest mysteries in physics. 
After years in the repair shop, the world's most complex machine is coming out of hibernation. Scientists are hitting the restart button on the Large Hadron Collider. Straddling the French-Swiss border, what's been called the Big Bang Machine, consists of a 17-mile underground ring. There, subatomic particles travel at almost the speed of light and are smashed together, allowing scientists to sift through the aftermath in an attempt to answer unsolved questions about things like dark matter, supersymmetry, and extra dimensions. The LHC is a science experiment that took decades to come together. The LHC was finally up and running in 2008. For the first time, a beam of protons steered around the collider, but it wasn't a smooth start. Nine days later, an electrical problem damaged the machine. About one year and $40 million in repairs later, the machine was back online and the payoff was colossal. In 2012, CERN announced the discovery of the elusive Higgs boson, the so-called guard particle, thought to explain how other particles get their mass. But the following year, the $10 billion proton collider was taken offline for refurbishing. Now, it's being fired up again. This run is due to go through 2017. With the upgrades, particles can collide together at even higher energies, giving scientists another chance to unlock the mysteries of our universe. Look, Stephen Hawking has said that the God particle could in fact wipe out the entire universe. So when we're talking about the God particle, we are talking about a particle much sought after called the Higgs boson particle. Now, he fears that the Higgs boson could become unstable, causing a catastrophic vacuum decay, which could cause the end of mankind. Check it out. So the Higgs boson particle is something that may and has been created in the Large Hadron Collider. So now you see they have this miles and miles and miles of this giant circle under the earth, miles wide. And they're spinning atoms in opposite directions faster and faster and faster. And they want to collide them to create a big bang which by the way can create a black hole it can do a whole lot of very dangerous things on the earth and even scientists who ain't even followers of christ are telling them this is highly dangerous but yet the luciferians have their agenda they have to obey the orders of their master lucifer satan you, you understand they're the children of the devil. So as you know, CERN Switzerland did accomplish certain things. There is an increase of darkness on the land. You can see it now. Look at the increase of murder. Look at the lawlessness. Even older ladies are stabbing little children in the face. All type of stuff. Abortion now. You can give birth to a nine-month-year-old child and murder it. This is not a game, saints. In the last days, 2 Timothy chapter 3 says, Fierce times, perilous times shall arise. But what creates this fierce, perilous time? Is it just man increasing in evil? Or is there a demonic power that is released on the earth? What does the word of God say about it? So I found out that they are creating another hadron collider over in china now remember one thing the rulers at the top all connect and meet together so the same ones that have the power the same ones in power that created the hadron collider over in satanic cern switzerland and and yes uh, to all our brothers and sisters in switzerland that love jesus we're praying for you but that place has a strong occult power. Remember that ritual they did when they were showing evil spirits coming out of the portal? Remember that? Remember the video most of y'all already seen? You think that was this show? They were serious. They were doing a real ritual and a real declaration of what their plans are. If you look at it, the Hadron Collider is another form 
of the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel. They were trying to get into the other dimension. It wasn't just building up. They wanted to tap into another dimension to wage war against the Most High God and his people. They're trying to tap into another dimension to release and to loosen certain demonic entities onto the earth. Now you're not supposed to be fearful and afraid of this. Because God has not given you the spirit of fear. But of power, love and a sound mind. The only one you're supposed to fear is the most high God. But we need to talk about this. Why did they choose China? I'm going to show you the revelations. But you better take it serious. Help spread this video. And make sure you pray with me at the end. One thing you got to know about China. Is it represents the dragon. More than any other country on the planet. I want you to see this video. The Eastern Dragon is portrayed as an auspicious creature with magical powers that coexist in heaven with gods. When Buddhists or Taoists achieve perfection, they ascend to heaven by riding on a dragon. These dragons are believed by the people to be deities. They are wise, compassionate, and watch over the people. The presence of dragons within Chinese culture dates back thousands of years, with the discovery of a dragon statue dating back to the 5th millennium BC from the Yangshao period. Throughout the history of China, Korea, and Japan, the dragon, or the concept of the dragon, has been a part of people's daily lives. The dragon has existed wherever Chinese culture existed, and the Chinese eventually began calling themselves the descendants of the dragon. The people of the dragon. Now I want to say to all our brothers and sisters over in China that are firmly standing in their faith in Christ that we love you and we're praying for you because we know how demonic the atmosphere is over there. And I'm not saying America is peaches and cream, but statistically China is the most godless nation in the world. Did you know that? And as I was meditating, when this was revealed to me, I was speaking to the Lord. See, I talk to Jesus Christ. He's my savior. He's my best friend. I sit at the table and speak with him. I asked the Lord, please show me these things that are hidden in the darkness. I'm going to show you it right now. The reason they chose China is because it has the least resistance for their goals to be accomplished. Because remember, because of technology, saints of the Most High God are able to communicate through the internet. Even though the devil used the internet for wickedness and that's what his goal was in creating the internet. But we were able to obtain knowledge fast through the internet by the grace of God. And we are able to communicate with each other fast through the internet. Look at how fast a video we upload can spread to thousands of you within a day. You better take advantage of this while it's still around, saints. You better don't, don't take these messages for granted. And we want to thank those that are in the fight helping us. Saints of God, when all the believers heard about the Hadrian Collider over in CERN, Switzerland, many people got into prayer and there was a lot of believers over in Switzerland that were fighting and praying and fasting against the powers of darkness that are being operated through this CERN Hadrian Collider. So they said, let us relocate a bigger Hadrian Collider over in China. Where there's the least resistance because it is the most godless nation on the planet. Can't you see it? Then I started to meditate. And what God started to reveal to me. Has got me into a more serious prayer life. Saints of God. If anything. I ask you to spread the video. But at the least what you can do. Is make sure you pray with me at the end of this video. I want you to go to Isaiah 24. I hope you got your word with you. You better know by now, 
Revelations of Jesus Christ Ministries ain't just here to fascinate you with unique videos. We're here to speak the word of God into your spirit. Because the word of God has to be the foundation. Listen to this carefully. Verse 1. Behold the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste. And turneth it upside down and scatters abroad the inhabitants thereof. Verse 3. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled. For the Lord has spoken his word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fades away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance. Broken the everlasting covenant. Now how many of y'all know that there are many different laws when it comes to the Most High God? Because most of you will just think about the laws of Moses. But you see, one thing you got to realize about the book of Isaiah is most of the book of Isaiah is prophetic. Speaking of the return of Christ and the end days. I mean, look at Isaiah 53. Isaiah 65 and 66 talks about the last days when Christ returns. But we know that the Son of God fulfilled the law. Now, that don't mean you can live lawless, but he fulfilled the law. And when we are washed under his holy blood, we become righteous through his blood. And we are commanded to live righteous, to honor him. But do you know that God has created other laws as well? I mean, isn't there laws of nature? Can a mosquito get pregnated by a dog? Can a cat impregnate a pig? There are laws that God has created and boundaries that he has commanded us not to cross. I need you to see where I'm going with this. Look at in this last hour how many things are being warped. Men are taking pills to grow breasts. Women are taking chemical shots to become masculine. They're mixing DNA of spiders and goats and all type of animals. They're growing human ears on the back of a mouse. Could there also be laws that are being broken and boundaries that are being crossed that are provoking the Most High to anger more than just simply the laws of Moses? After all, if Jesus Christ fulfilled the law, we're not supposed to go back to the law to begin with. Paul spoke of it in Galatians chapter 3. Now before you leave a comment talking about we must obey all 600 laws. I got other videos you can watch. Don't waste your time. Go through our YouTube channel. I got messages on the laws of God. The do's and the don'ts. I'm talking about other laws that are invisible but stand. There's laws of nature. There's laws of and there's boundaries. On this earth that we're not supposed to cross. I'll prove it to you. Remember the days of Noah. Remember how the fallen angels. The sons of God. And if you try to tell me. The sons of God weren't the fallen angels. It just lets me know. That you're not that mature spiritually. And you're very ignorant. When it comes to the word of God. And I will pray for you. But most that walk in the spirit and study their word know very well the book of Job chapter 1, 6, chapter 2, 1, chapter 38, 7 and so forth. Prove that the sons of God at that time were the angels. Human beings did not become sons of God until Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead. That's what the letter, that's what the gospel of John says. To them that believe became the sons of God. So now the fallen angels mixed and breeded and fornicated with the daughters of men. This means that they broke a law. A, there was barriers that were broken and laws that were broken when they fornicated and had sex with the daughters of men. And they gave birth to the Nephilim, the giants. 
This is one of the biggest cover-ups, but it is a fact. So what really happened? Why did God send the flood? Because there were certain laws that were broken, you understand? And they weren't the laws of Moses then. These were natural laws. Because if you change the DNA of a person, God will no longer recognize them as his because they have been corrupted. Notice that it said Noah was the only one perfect. What does that mean? His bloodline was clean. He was not infected by the corruption of the broken laws of nature. See, these fallen angels were merging DNA and all type of things. And there's a whole lot of videos on that. I don't even have to go deep with it. But I want you to go to Matthew 24. Look at what it says in verse 37 going forward. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in those days they were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Pause right there. So the fallen angels were in the times of Noah. They were giants. And this is the real reason God had to send the flood. It wasn't just simply because people were continually evil. It was because these fallen angels were influencing people to become evil upon evil upon evil continually. And they were changing their DNA. They were splicing and mixing genes. Why do you think when they went into the lands of the giants, the Israelite spies came back with clusters of a grapes so big, they needed help. They need a few men to carry one cluster of grapes. They were genetically modifying and altering. And they were going against the laws of God. You understand? So why is it Jesus said, as the days of Noah were, so shall it be when I come back? Could Satan be up to another agenda? Because remember, their goal was to corrupt the entire bloodline of the human race. But one man slipped through the cracks with his family by the name of Noah. Now let's read it again and let's see if you see it now. Go back to Isaiah. 24 verse 5 the earth also was defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance broken the everlasting covenant now we know the first thing we think of is the laws of Moses but could there be other laws also being broken could they be breaking the laws of time and space the laws of dimensions the laws of natural order of things right the the laws of nature think about what i'm saying to you if they've done it already in the days of noah what could they be trying to do now let's keep reading they broken the everlasting covenant therefore have the curse devoured the earth they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men are left. You see this? Go to verse 11. There is crying for the wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Remember I told you the Hadron Collider. They're breaking laws. They're trying to create big bangs and open up portals and obtain dark matter. Notice verse 11 says, all joy is darkened. You see that? And the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. When thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall be as the shaking of an olive tree and of the gleaming grapes when the vineyard is done, when the vintage is done. They shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore glorify you the Lord in the fires. Even the name of the Lord God of Israel in the islands of the sea. From the, from the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs. Even glory to the righteous. But I said, my leanness, my leanness 
Woe unto me, for treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Yes, treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon the O inhabitants of the earth. What did you learn about the Hadron Collider? That they're trying to open up portals. They're trying to obtain antimatter or dark matter. And they want to open up the bottomless pit. The gates of the bottomless pit. You think the gates of hell is a physical door with a key? Or do you think it is a portal that opens up? When the, God, when the word of God talks about windows in heaven. Do you think it's some window with shades? And some glass and a lock that you lift up? Notice it says Fear and the pit And the snare are upon thee Notice it says the pit Verse 18 And it shall come to pass that he who flees the, From the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit Shall be taken in the snare For the windows from on high or upon Are open and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broke down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. What could cause the earth to shake and move exceedingly? Listen to verse 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. It shall be removed like cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. And it shall fall and not rise again. Pause right there. Some of you may say, bro, this wasn't literal. The earth is not going to literally shake. It's a spiritual meaning. But have you ever considered that there might be a physical meaning to this as well? Saints of God, hypothetically speaking, what could cause the earth to move back and forth like a drunkard? What could cause the earth to be thrown out of kilt like that? Either an outer heavenly body like a planet passing by the earth with a gravitational force so powerful that it would cause the earth to shake because of the gravitational pull or something happening on the earth so catastrophic like the Hadron Collider if a Big Bang, what they call the Big Bang but the explosion that could open up a portal or a black hole or the gates of the bottomless pit in the releasing of antimatter, could it or could it not cause the earth to move back and forth like a drunkard? What is Isaiah seeing in the spirit? Saints of God, go to the book of Luke chapter 21. Look at what it says in verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity and the seas and the waves roaring. What would cause the earth to move around and the waves to go crazy? What is all of this going on? Is this just spiritual? Or is there a physical aspect of this as well? And look at what a verse, look at verse 26. Men's hearts shall fail and men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. What could be coming on the earth in the last days that's so terrifying that healthy men's hearts will fail them? You think when the word of God tells, you think in the book of Revelation, when it talks about locusts flying around, stinging men, this is all allegories and it doesn't really literal mean a literal thing. What if it does? What if there are gates that will be opened up as a form of judgment? Do you not know that God will give people up? If they do not turn from their wickedness, did not God give Israel up? Did not Jeremiah tell them they will be taken away by the enemy? Church, look at how wicked these ministries are all around the earth. Look at the leaders, how sold out they are. Wicked men and women selling out for a morsel of bread. Mocking the Most High God while on a stage claiming Christ. Even Jezebel. Remember God got so. God got so angry. 
He said, fine, you want Jezebel? Have her. Go on the bed with her. People keep playing with God. You don't think God will allow certain gates to open up and darkness to come on the land like never before? What does Thessalonians say about the Holy Spirit? That he that now letteth shall let, right? So the Holy Spirit will back out and back away and there will be a gross darkness that comes upon the land like never before. Could the Hadron Collider be what opens up the doorway to release this dark antimatter, this evil presence upon the earth? Let's go to Revelation chapter 9. It says in verse 1 going down, And the fifth, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw the, a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the what? Bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given the power, as scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads and to them it was given that they should not kill them but they should be tormented five months and their torment was like the torment of scorpions and which when they strikes a man you see this you think this is all made up you don't think this is a literal angel on opening a literal door of a literal pit and literal things coming out on the earth you better make sure you write with God. These people in Hollywood that serve Satan know exactly what they're doing when they make movies. You know how many movies and shows are talking about the Hadron Collider and you don't even know it? The Flash, their whole thing was a Hadron Collider. Their whole base was a Hadron Collider. And it goes on and on and on. So now they have chosen China, the most godless nation in the world, for the final Hadron Collider, seven times bigger than the one over in CERN, Switzerland. But as I was meditating on this, I asked the Lord if there's anything else. Are you ready for this? Have you ever heard of the Ouroboros? The wicked ancient symbol Ouroboros? This symbol is thousands of years old. And it is the dragon eating its own tail. Some have a serpent, others have a dragon. And I find it interesting that in the book of Revelation, Lucifer, Satan, is called that old serpent and the dragon. But this ancient symbol of the dragon eating its own tail can be found everywhere from ancient Mayan to ancient Egypt, Europe. Even the Freemasons have it in their images. Company logo secretly have it. This Ouroboros shows up in video games, TV shows, and even movies. Just like Netflix got a show called Dark. It's sort of like that stupid show Stranger Things, but a lot more mature. With a lot more revealed about the Illuminati's plans. Now you as a born again believer, you have to be careful the shows and movies you watch thinking you just want to do your research. When, when Moses and Joshua, whenever they sent the spies out to spy out the land of the giants, they didn't send out a hundred spies, y'all. They sent out a handful of men. That lets you know that a lot of people ain't built to understand what's going on in Hollywood and the movies. It's only a certain select people that can investigate without being tempted and drawn away after their own lust. You understand? 
So I'm warning you, if I ever use examples of movies or shows, I'm telling you to leave it alone. Don't go looking at it. Just take my word for it. That's all. But this, this show, Dark, matter of fact, I'm going to show you the trailer. That's the least I could do. Check this out. Es ist unklar, was genau die Ereignisse in Winden ausgelöst hat. Vielleicht können wir sie retten. Alle. Wo hat alles angefangen? In der Kleinstadt Winden ist ein Junge auf mysteriöse Weise verschwunden. Mikkel? Mikkel! In der Zukunft, in der Vergangenheit oder ist alles in einer endlosen Schleife miteinander verbunden? Es muss einen Weg geben, das alles zu ändern. Es wird wieder passieren. Krieg. Es ist zu weit. Krieg. Krieg. Deine Rolle in Altimir ist viel größer, als du denkst. Es gibt einen Weg. Die Apokalypse muss kommen. So you see, they were ritualistically killing children and they developed a portal, a gateway that would allow them to travel to and fro time. And alter things in a parallel universe. But did you notice. The handle. To the doorway. That taps into the other dimension. Was the Ouroboros. You think that's coincidence? But as I was asking the Lord to show me deeper revelations of this. So I can warn the people. It all came together. And it's so deep, it's not even funny. What would be the odds that the Ouroboros is a dragon eating its own tail? China is boasting as the people of the dragon, the most godless nation on the planet. Are you ready for it? Notice the Ouroboros is a circle. Notice it is a dragon. As we speak, they are already in the process of making this Hadron Collider. Notice that the Hadron Collider is a circle just like the Ouroboros. And just as the dragon eats its own tail, when they spin these particles in opposite directions, if they end up eating and devouring each other when they collide, I believe the reason the occult has the Ouroboros symbol in so many different ancient places and modern day television shows, cartoons, video games is because they believe they have figured out what the ancient civilizations through fallen angels were telling them that the Ouroboros symbol is in fact a map to create the Hadron Collider. The dragon to eat its own tail. The particles to collide and devour each other. To open up the gateway to loosen the fallen beings. Now I'm not forcing you to believe what I believe has been revealed to me. But I'm asking you at the least to pray. Now if you walk in the spirit, you know right now in your spirit man. It all comes together like a puzzle in this video. But I want to encourage you with a word. Because you are not supposed to be afraid of whatever comes out of those gates. You are not supposed to be afraid of what the Illuminati has planned. But did you not know that Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation says that he has the keys of hell and death? Did you know that? Did you not know that Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Son of God, has the keys of David and he can shut a door that no man can open? 
and he can open a door that no man can shut. This means that as manifested sons of God, you can't, can't you see the parallel? In the Old Testament, there were sons of God, fallen angels, who disobeyed and went against God. In the New Testament, we have Jesus Christ. Now we are sons of God who fight for God. You see, Jesus Christ had to raise up an army of sons of God in the human dimension to fight against the fallen sons of God in the angelic dimension. Hallelujah. Saints of God, it's time to live righteous and holy. It's time to take the Most High God serious. Because they are getting knowledge that you don't know about. They are tapping into powers now. Satan is using technology. This is why the children of the devil hate you. They hate you on the job. Some of your neighbors hate you. Everywhere you go, religious people hate you. It's because they are jealous of you, brothers and sisters. Because you have accepted the Messiah. And you have become manifested sons of God with power to tap into the supernatural realm. Where the, where the children of the devil have to cheat and use technology to help them tap into dimensions. But you and I have the power to pray against the plans of the Hadron Collider. To pray against the plans of the children of the devil. And to pray against the plans of Satan. We want to pray that God will keep that door shut. But we know what Revelation says. We know that doors and gates will be opened and it will be portals. But we can pray that we will be protected, that when these gates open and whatever comes through, will not be able to touch you and I. And we pray that we can pray against this Hadron Collider and whatever plans that the Illuminati has because the prayer of the righteous availeth much. We have the power through Christ to keep doors shut. Will you pray with me? Will you pray with me? Because what you need to realize is Nimrod was trying to... He was trying to wage war directly against God. It wasn't about just building a tower. He wanted to wage war against the Most High Christ. This is their real agenda. This is why the, the word of God says they will gather together to make war against the Lamb. Stop being friends with the same world that is getting ready to fight your God. Make a stand. What side are you on, sister? What side are you on, brother? As for me and my house and those in this ministry with us, we will serve the Lord and we will stand by the King of glory and get prepared for battle because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and sister and brother you have the power to destroy their plans you have the power to fumble their 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 goals and agendas Pray against the CERN. Pray against the Hadron Collider. Pray it breaks. Pray it short circuits. Pray it gives them a hard time. Pray that the days will be delayed. Pray that we will have more time on this earth before those doors open up. Because to mock this and to, to deny this is to deny the book of Revelation. Clearly there is a gate and a door opened up. And if in the book of Job, Satan is used as a footstool to God, where God even tells Satan, have you considered my servant Job? If God could agree with the devil, okay, you can do this, this, and this to Job, but you can't kill him. What makes you think God won't allow this gate to open up? What makes you think God won't allow the Hadron Collider to work? God will give you up to what you desire. This is why he threw them on the bed with Jezebel. He said, you want her that much? Here, you can have her. You want wickedness? You like entertaining yourself with violence and murder? You love darkness? God will give it to you. He will allow that door to open up. Stop playing with
with God. The son of God is the light of the world and you want to play with dark matter. You better choose your side because if you ain't marked by God, you will be his enemy by default. Pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for revealing these things hidden in the darkness. And we see that this ain't nothing but another attempt like the Tower of Babel, where this time it's a digital tower. Lord, they, they, they mock us to our face and still believers don't see it because they're not walking in the spirit. But Father God, right now we repent. Wash us in your holy blood, Jesus Christ, Yahshua the Messiah. Prepare us for what is coming, Lord. Mark us, Lord Jesus, so the Antichrist can't mark us. Mark us, Lord, that when them gates open up, because it must come to pass, that those evil beings and those creatures, Apollyon from the bottomless pit, and those locust creatures will not be able to touch us. And Lord, now we know why they chose China, because this country resists you the most. So they're banking on it being the easiest to operate in darkness. But I'm praying that the children of the Most High God in China will be given the power of prayer of a hundred thousand men per saint. And I pray that brothers and sisters around the earth will pray against the plans of the Hadron Collider that it'll break and fumble and time will be delayed to give us more time to save souls. Lord Jesus Christ we rebuke and reject the spirit of the Ourobora the serpent eating its own tail was the fallen angels way to communicate to say create this Hadron Collider to devour its own tail and open up the door for us to come through Lord, you have the keys to shut that door and lock it. But if you have to do it because of judgment, Lord, then so be it. As far as us, Lord, we hate darkness. We hate evil. And we love your light, Jesus Christ. Help us to hate wickedness even more. Help us to love righteousness even more. Lord, we pray as many will be saved as possible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Saints of God, we love you so much. We do these videos because we're trying to reach you and wake you up before it's too late. Get ready. Live a life of prayer. Read your word. Fast. Live righteous. Stay from sin and avoid it like the plague. And walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. And pray for us as we pray for you. And for all our partners, we love you. And we're so thankful for your prayers, your support, and for being real and standing by our side. As we fight against a giant with a rock and a sling. In Jesus Christ's name. Bless. Clocked in to the gospel, never take a break. And I'm in it for the long haul. A general in this war, homie, I ain't never gonna bake your cake. I get this creepy feeling, Illuminati's watching me. But I shall not fear, cause Jesus Christ, he walks with me. Just remember while you're spying, God is watching you. On that judgment day. My question is, what you gonna do? Young Jay on the block, he was raised with a pack. Hustling the grams and he stayed with a gap. Till one day he caught a blade in the back. Started bleeding out, eyes got dim and faded to black. Oh God, this the days that we at. I offered prayer to a fiend on the block. He prayed for some crack. The Illuminati knows fallen angels exist. The Babylonian tablets, why they invaded Iraq. It's the truth, I just had to remind ya They trying to open up the gates of hell with the Hadron Collider Police is bugging now, they don't even use a taser gun They'll empty out a clip and you start playing dumb It's all deliberate to start an uprising Seek the face of God and don't be afraid of them And be a coffin 
when I back down the top of the phones. Listen, can't you hear coughing in the background? I get this creepy feeling Illuminati's watching me. But I shall not fear, cause Jesus Christ, he walks with me. Just remember while you're spying, God is watching you. On that judgment day, my question is, what you gonna do? Watching us, God is watching you. All y'all in the Illuminati, you ain't watching God. God is watching you. Oh, 